confessional day here on Emotional Mojo. So today, we thought we would do a little battle of the sexes, confession edition. We're gonna have some fun here. And we're welcoming our good friend from the Daily Buzz, Sir Charles Divins. Sir, thank you, Sir, Sir Charles thank Divins. You. He's gonna anything. help us play and even out the teams, because it can't be all the ladies against Juanis all the time like it usually is, well, right? Okay. <laughs> I got you, I got you back, I got you back. All right, so this is how it works. I'm gonna describe a scenario, and we are gonna answer with yes or no to whether or not you should confess during these scenarios, and then we're gonna discuss each one, okay? Oh, do you confess? Yes, should oh, you right. confess? So the first one, do you confess when you don't like their new hairdo or look? Do you confess? Ooh. What do we got? Patrick says yes, Charles says no. I say no as well, Jada? Yes. yes! All right, let's talk about the yeses first. <laughs> Why would you tell your partner you don't like their it's look? Not... I think it's being honest, and okay. I think that honesty it breathes trust, and that's what relationships yeah, are based on. But even on. when it comes to your look? But you don't tell them, oh my God, you look so ugly. It's this how is you deliver it. You're not going to tell them, I love it. You're not going to lie to them saying that it's better than it really is. But but you you so you withhold the truth. Uh -huh. because you you have have no, no, you give You're them a helping the truth hand. Help. It's a helping Listen, hand. Listen, okay. this is why I agree with Charles, okay? I just recently cut my hair. It was super long, cut a lot off. If my husband were to tell me I really hate how that looks, well, now he's screwed for the next four months because it's going to take that long well, to grow back anyway. out. What happens if he hates it anyway? He he's doesn't have to tell me. He can be supportive. But like, you know what? I loved it long, but thank you. it's okay, short. Yeah. All right, we're going to get into the nitty-gritty here, okay? One of your mutual friends hits on you. Do you tell your partner? I don't even know what Ooh, to do that one here. That's slow. Uh, no, that's, that's I'm going to go yes, that's an easy too. One. I'm saying no. I'm agreeing with Patrick here with the no. That, Sorry, Jada. Yeah. And this okay. is rare for me I because yes. I believe in speaking the truth, but I think you speak your truth first to the part, to the mutual friend. I agree. Talk to them first. And look for their response and see what their response is. If their response is inappropriate, it's not what you're expecting, they're still pushy, then you go tell your your. Well, see, partner. I agree with that. So it's within context. You have to, you know, kind of walk it through and make sure, first of all, you don't misunderstand what's happening. Right. But Maybe you, you even do, took it the wrong way. Exactly. I mean, the fact that she put her hand yeah, below you your know, chest. I mean, we're talking about <laughs> if you know they're hitting on <laughs> you, you've, got, you've got to call it out. It's a best friend. You're only you know, setting yourself up for but, failure. But would you tell your partner yes. right away? Yes. yes. So you tell them both right away? Yeah, right away. Why what if it ruins the friendship and it was a simple... Misunderstanding? I didn't mean it that way. Well, then, or, I was yeah. strong. Well, no, well, yeah. Then you approach it and then and you clarify it with both. Yeah. And it's awkward and... all the time. No, it's just awkward once. But right. it's awkward that they hit on you. Yes. That's what makes it awkward. Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> well, let's say you find out that one of your mutual friends is cheating on their partner. Do you confess? Do you get it out there and tell the person who's being cheated on? So, like, if your best friend was cheating on his wife, do you tell the wife? I already confessed. What do we got? No? Yeah, I was first on that one. No. No? Yeah. No, everybody says no. I nope. would tell the yeah. person that's doing the cheating first, and I'd say, you need to deal with this, you need to stop this, otherwise I can't be your friend anymore. This is the end of our What friendship. do you think, Charles? Yeah, no, I mean, it's none of your business, really, at that point. I mean, it's yeah. between, it's, you're talking about something that's going to ruin uh, two person's relationship. Yeah. But would you want to yeah. know, though, someone was cheating on you? You would want to know, but know? you wouldn't want to be told yeah, by but a friend. You also, hold on, Charles, you also have a certain responsibility to your, your other friend or... The one who's being, being cheated being on. Cheated on. You can't just say, "Well, I didn't want to get involved, so forget it." But it's very well, related to their relationship. I said no, <laughs> meaning, but I'm saying no. You go and you approach the culprit, yeah. and you say, "You are cheating. You are hurting my best friend. You are allowed to do whatever you want, but you're hurting my best friend. Okay. You have to own up to it." I got to tell you, I have personal experience yeah. with this. We had okay. some mutual yeah. friends. We thought she was cheating on the guy, and my husband went ahead and told the guy, and we have not talked to them since because he was so angry. He okay. said, "It's none of your was business it the truth, what though? my wife yeah. does." We still don't know to this. Day. And was it worth it? It, it was question. not because now we never talk to them yeah. anymore. Because it was the, very awkward. I yeah. feel like Charles said, it's really none of our business yeah. and it violates boundaries. That's what relationships are made of. They're boundaries yeah. and the boundaries violate. Yeah, so we don't know. Maybe they have an open relationship. Okay. And finally, let's say you've reconnected with an ex on Facebook, you've exchanged a few messages with each other. Should you let your spouse know about that? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes? Look at yeses across the board. Because why, why do you need to lie? If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to hide. It's not lying, it's keeping it secret. Withholding you know? is equivalent to a lie. Okay, yeah. so we all agree on that. Now, what about this is the biggie, okay? 
you had an affair, you had sex with somebody else, mm -hmm. do you tell your spouse or do you let it eat away at you? Of course you do. What kind of <laughs> question is that? I'll just say no. no. And here's why. <laughs> you two are like just say, morality. Michelle. I have never cheated and I never would, but, but I, you I guys did. are the psychologists and the counselors. Yeah. yeah. But let's say it really was a one-time physical thing, super bad mistake, you love your partner. Is telling your partner going to be worth it if in your mind you You raise a good point, it depends on the circumstances. If you're completely drunk and stupid and you didn't know what was going on, yes. But if you did it because you were out having fun, you got carried away, yes, you have to own up and accept responsibility. Let me ask you this, how would you feel if that was your husband that did that and he kept Honestly, it Honestly, if he in his heart of hearts knew it was a huge mistake, didn't mean to, loves me to death and I don't know that I'd want to know because I don't think I would no, ever get past it. What you don't it, which... know won't hurt you. <laughs> and, and, also, I, and, also, I, and, also, okay, an ongoing affair, let me say, an ongoing affair is different from a one-time thing. Right, it, so it what are we talking an about? An ongoing yeah. affair is, is it a one-time? It's about a one-night stay. You need to talk about ongoing as well, because, I mean, here's the thing. If you have uh, consciously chosen to you know, break the commitment that you're in yeah. and lie about it to start with, and it has started an affair, why not uh, give some consistency to your partner and just continue on and, and, and not hurt them? You know Ouch. what I mean? Ouch. What? If it's an ongoing Ouch. affair? Well, I mean, if you're, you're already in it. Right. So at what point does it? I mean, but what point does it matter? Devins. I I'm I know, just saying. I but mean, Sir Charles, let me just Sir you Charles. Sir Devin. Charles, you're gonna lose that, sir, in a second. <laughs> oh, I feel good today. But at the end of the day, I just think that you just have to be honest up front. Why continue on and have an affair? Right. Well, Why what, not just cut it? Say this is what's going on and move on. Is that what you're saying? Well, what, what I'm saying is. It, the initiation of the affair, uh -huh. the fact that it's, it's an affair, not okay. a one-time thing, okay. an so now affair. We know okay. You've already chosen to lie. Okay. Right? So at what point do you say yes? At that point, you've already broken all the rules. Depends whether you want to heal the relationship. Why, break it off? why even bother yeah, that's what going saying. through the motions of a marriage if you're obviously not happy? Well, that's yeah. another question altogether. Get out of okay. the relationship. But, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have time for all those yeah. questions. Yeah. But Charles, thank you. We had a lot of fun it with you. I really love you, right? Because I attacked you. I was just like, shoot back. This is Sir Charles Divins. You can catch him weekday mornings on the Daily Buzz. We've got more emotional mojo on tap. Don't go anywhere. Had to do. Got me talking to myself, asking how I'm gonna tell you. Pop that chick on part one, I told y'all I was creeping.